The Kefield School of Business is seeing major success from its ongoing jobs project. This is according to jobs project manager at the school, Audra Stevenson Drakes. The jobs project is an initiative that is funded by U.S. the United Agency for International Development, United States Agency for International Development, U.S. Aid, and it is a partnership between the Kefield School of Business and Kelly School of Business in Indiana University in Bloomington in the U.S and it's managed by a U.S. agency called HED. Well, Ms. Stevenson Drakes says the response to the program from students has been very favorable and that the program continues to expand. The Barbados Labour Party has plans to bring a constitutional amendment that would ensure a limit to the incurring of recurring current account fiscal deficits for Barbados. This is according to Leader of the Opposition, Mia Motley. There must be fiscal discipline. There are no two ways. There's how which way you slice it, chop it, cut it. And we have, therefore, reached a point in this country's history, and I am here to confirm and to affirm to you today that the Barbados Labour Party will put fully on the agenda a constitutional amendment that will protect this country from the profligacy and from the unfettered spending of any future government by ensuring that there will be a constitutional limit to the incurring of recurring current account fiscal deficits, taking into account, of course, national emergencies. Brazil's central bank has raised its benchmark interest rate to 10% from 9.5%, the sixth time in a row that it has put up borrowing costs. The latest rise has taken the key rate to the highest level since March 2012. The rises come as Brazil has been trying to rein in inflation. Consumer prices in the country rose by 5.8% in October from a year earlier and above policymakers' 4.5% target. Healthwise, brought to you with the compliments of the Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited. Always there when you need us most. Good evening. Thanks for joining us on Healthwise tonight as we discuss acid reflux disease. The stomach is...